Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator. And I'm Trenton Bennett, and I'm also an audiobook narrator. This is a weekly series that comprises our uh, thoughts about narration, um, coming at it from a perspective of, oh, yeah, this is this is something that's fundamental to the craft that perhaps, you know, people who are just starting out uh, might want to know and seasoned people might want to remind themselves of. Um, so, uh, Trenton, take it away with uh, with this week's topic. Well, I think it's important to mention that as much as I did a 13 and a half hour day last Saturday and then yesterday I did a 12 hour day. Not every day am I going to really want to do that. I'm going to be not happy about it. I'm going to be not looking forward to it and going, I don't want to do this. I'm just, I don't want to. You can't Mm -hmm. make me. (laughs) Right. Right. You know, and uh, one of the things that uh, that I think about um, is sort of like, you know, it's not, it's not due to the content of the book it's not due to the author uh, it's it's you know it's just one of those things for me of just like well you know i i just uh sometimes it's even due to the fact that i do appreciate the content so much and i do appreciate the author so much so it's like maybe today i'm just not i'm just not good enough for them um and uh you know the thing that also uh gets in my way energetically can be like, oh, wow, I don't really feel like narrating today. What's wrong with me? Everybody who really, you know, is made for this job should feel like narrating. It should be just like an immediate, like drop in and zone type of thing. What's wrong? With I me? should wrong? love every minute of this and be so thankful that I can do it. Yes. Yeah. yeah you took the words right <laughs> out of my mouth as well as the accent. Um, uh, but yeah, absolutely. You're the accent, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, sure. And folks, you can check out my channel for more tips. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the idea that there's something wrong with me and when I'm working with students, you know, that's that's my major bit of counseling. You know, when uh, it can take a lot to just get to the studio and get inside the studio and to to start rolling. Um, it can it, you know, th- it can take a lot of personal TLC uh, to get there. Um, There are times when I put the recording on pause and I say some incredibly unkind things about that guy out there that decided that that 12-inch subwoofer in his car would really go best with the accoutrement of removing the muffler and rolling around the neighborhood for three to five minutes while I'm going... Got bad words for you, dude. Don't do it. <laughs> and, uh, and he doesn't know it, that. That's not his fault. <laughs> right. Right. Well, it sort of is, but it isn't. You know. Well, and, yeah. and but yeah. You know, I mean, um, like, uh, uh, and, and I mean, that's that's just that's just the general thing, right? I mean, we feel the way we feel, and it doesn't have to be anybody's fault. And really, ultimately, what matters is what we do. You know, with uh, with the feelings and the actions that we take. Um, and uh the way i think about it is it's like i'm performing a service um the service uh you know sometimes i might be really excited to perform the service sometimes i might not be coming to it with excitement but i know how to perform the service and i'm dedicated to performing the service and a really good session of performing the service can sometimes completely eliminate the grumpies in and of itself so that's you know that's a gift from the authors as well Absolutely, because anytime I do that and I, I knuckle down and say, you know what, I got a job to do and this is a this is one of the greatest jobs in the world, let me just do it. Right. I usually find that I just get into the zone. Do you find that too, that kind of the, okay, well, Grumpy doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I got 14 hours to record right. in the next yeah. two weeks. Yeah, to- right. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that can be a blessing, can't it? um because uh because it's just like yeah i'm just doing a job um and uh then i can enjoy the job and there's so much to enjoy about the job so um yeah so Uh, what what's our takeaway then for folks uh takeaway for folks is um i would say how you feel going into it is only 
a don't don't mistake how you feel going into it for the work that you're supposed to be doing and it works both ways right i could feel like it's magical going in great do the job i feel like i can't do this at all great now do the job <laughs> it's okay to be grumpy yeah. just do what you need to do right right feel your feelings and do the job. <laughs> and, I got to admit, know. on the long days, I actually feel pretty good by the end of it. I'm like, that was a lot of time, but boy, that was that was ultimately a lot of fun. And my goodness, isn't it something when um, when finished with uh, a long stint of recording? And there is, um, I think, just by virtue of, uh, of you know doing that much work, a a fusion of mind, body, and text. Where it's just like, yeah. yeah, I mean, I I do go into an alternate zone. I can't help it, you know. Um, and that's that's a real gift with this work as well. It's a pretty awesome feeling, yeah. Yeah. So, folks, uh, um, you know, take it easy on yourselves and pressure yourselves all in the right ways. Uh, I'm Matt Haynes, and I'm Trenton Bennett. And as your narrators and teachers of narration, I hope that our voices and your ears meet again real soon. Thanks, everybody.